Introducing the Swag Cycle. Boom! With the hit of that switch, we go right into motorcycle mode. Boom! With the hit of that. Look at that. Look at that drop. Look at them hydraulics. Look at that. Isn't that just swag? That is the swag mode. And if a bicycle, if the two-wheel terrain isn't really much for you, BAM! This thing turns into a tricycle. If this isn't the greatest motorcycle you've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic, your opinion is irrelevant. Tell somebody who cares. Hello everybody, Mr. Miola here, back playing Scrap Mechanic today. We are inside Scrapland, amongst a bunch of our creations here. We've got the car from episode one. <laughs> if you can call it that. We've got our plane over there from episode two that's somewhat stuck in the ground in a weird wobbling manner. And we have, of course, our amazing, super awesome rocket ship up here, which is probably my most proud and fond creation yet. But today, I plan to kick it up a notch. And we have a ton of new suggestions and challenges from you guys that you left in the comments down below of the last video. So remember guys, if you want me to build things that you suggest or you have any suggestions of things I can build, leave them down below in this video because that's where I get my ideas from most of the time. So we got like a whole ton in the last video, which is freaking amazing. So kudos to you guys. Clap, clap to you guys. And uh, one of them really stood, well, not that one stood out, but there was one that I really wanted to try. And that was building a motorcycle. So I think we're going to try and build a motorcycle today. I have no idea how to go about that. Um, I reckon it's actually going to be pretty hard considering like this car with four wheels is hard enough to control, let alone a motorcycle with two. Um, so I'm not too sure what we're going to do about that, but that's part of the appeal. That's part of the reason I want to give it a shot because it just sounds crazy enough that it, I don't know, with enough perseverance, and enough. Oh my god. Look at that turning circle. It's so bad. <laughs> enough dedication. We might be able to get it to work. Um, also, thank you so much for all the support on the videos, guys. You guys have been incredible. Um, and if you could do so kindly as to leave a massive old thumbs up on this video. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Make it rain them thumbs up, guys. But I think this is a nice little spot here. I think this is beautiful. We're going to be building our motorbike here so what I'm thinking right is we should kick it off with some flat ground I don't know I think like working on flat ground just works well so we're gonna start off with like a little bit of it's kind of like a little drag strip that we can kind of take the bike down it's uh actually not overly flat <laughs> it's not as flat as I uh, was hoping for it to be but that's gonna do anyway so here we go Place down our little jack here. Now, what do we even start something like this with? I'm thinking that, like, wheel-wise, we're going to be using big wheels. I'm thinking, like, one big one at the front, one at the back. I reckon that would be the best way to go. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a little hot rod, like, low rider type of thing. Uh, blocks, right? So, it's going to be kind of like a longish vehicle. Um, I'm thinking thinking we may need to build this out of well, which which of these blocks let's just build it out of concrete concrete definitely not metal metal is just too heavy unless we, we can actually do this out of metal because it doesn't need to leave the ground so i was just having a bit of a brainstorm and i've kind of don't even know where to start with this thing it's actually a little more complicated than i originally thought right i know we're gonna need some like weird looking blocks and stuff we're going to need uh, bearings and we're going to need a bit of suspension. I just don't know how to go about where to put it and stuff. So huh, We've got a sort of body going If we let's face it that way there, right? So we've got like a seat. The seat is just so big and bulky, right? Where to next you kind of want to have a big wheel kind of like out the front in this sort of direction What am I even doing? Can I rotate this? Like, you kind of want to have it out the front there. Why can't I, like, ugh, put this on, put this on, put this on. There we go. Okay. So, you kind of want to have, if, if we're going with big wheel, or should we go with just small wheel? We can also just go with the small wheel. The small wheel is possible. The small wheel probably makes more sense, in fact. You can also go a big wheel at the back if you really want to as well. 
That's the thing. There's a lot of things to like consider with something like this. Let's go uh, that there and bring this back. Like, if you were to go with something like that, I like that's kind of like a pretty cool shape. But is this big and like is it thin enough to kind of keep it balanced, or would you want to go more like wider? If that makes sense, would you want to go more like double out here, bring this out? Wrong wheel, big wheel there, big wheel there. Like, is that still a motorbike? Because that can sort of be classed as one wheel, and I reckon it looks pretty badass. So, like, you lose that. And it sits up. Obviously, there's no motor on it right now, so this thing ain't gonna move. But, I think this sort of design has potential. I think we could definitely make this work. Oh, we, we, we even gotta add, like, a steering column at the front. There's so many things that we have to, like, take into account when building this thing. I don't know! It's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to kind of brainstorm for a second and see what I can come up with. I'll be back with you guys in a moment. Hmm. Dude, oh my god, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> I guess that didn't work. I got to test this out. I got to test this out. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my god. All right, yeah, we're stuck. We're st <laughs> doing doughies, bro. All right, so this is sort of what I've been working on. I know it looks a little bit weird. I'll admit that, but check it out, all right? When I go and take it off of this lift, that's how it sits. I made this little stilt so that it can like sit off the ground and we can still work on it. But that's how it's looking at the moment, all right? So we've kind of got the frame we got these rods that sort of like take it up and then the big kind of shafts that come down and I'd really want to add a wheel to it but as you can see it doesn't want to let that happen like it it's like kind of hitting into that block on the right hand side or the the left hand side depending on which way you look at it so I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of way to balance that I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet the big wheel obviously doesn't fit um, but yeah I'm gonna have to sort of rotate something or add a bearing somewhere that I haven't yet to kind of get this to balance out. Right now, it's not happening, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully a little bit more play and we'll get it to work. All right, guys, so currently this is what we have. It actually isn't too bad, right? It kind of does the job, but it, it's not 100% yet. So when we go and remove this, it actually gets really laggy and I'm not too sure I'm not sure too I'm not too sure why. I got a feeling it's because there's like a lot of bearings like connected, but I'm not a hundred percent. I don't really know what's causing that. Um, but it's kind of weird. But um basically, right, we can sort of fit a wheel in here if we go and lift it up, place it down, place the wheel in, remove that. Um Actually, I'll take that back. Let's go and lift that, put that there, remove that. Now, check it out, right? It drives. But, there's like a weird collision up there because it doesn't sort of sit properly. I don't know if you can sort of tell it's not straight. Um, and basically, that is because the wheel does just doesn't align properly. And it's actually like jarring into that, which isn't really good. So, if you like watch me remove this... This here kind of swings back in and I can't fit one of these back in there because it's like it just collides So I'm gonna have to work at this a little bit more, but I think I'm done with working on this for today I'm gonna pick it up again tomorrow spend some more time and see what I can do um, We'll see how we go. Okay, so it's a fresh day. I'm back trying to get this thing working This is where it all began This thing right here. Okay, it was all right. It did it moved it kind of I don't know It was all right. It was functional. It just it was missing a touch. It was missing a touch. From there, we went on to our Mark II. Now, this here is still obviously being played around with. Doesn't really make, make much sense if you, like, take a close look at it. Um, but the wheels, well, like the handlebars, as you can see over here, they were, like, angled. We come back over here, and they're, like, straight. So I made that adjustment there, and that at least allows us to get a wheel on the front while looking 
proper, okay? And uh, obviously the back of here is kind of like a bit makeshift. So if we jump on here and we can sort of turn a little bit. And I actually took the motor off it, but this thing here ran all right, despite being pretty lopsided. As you can see, it's a bit all over the joint. Um, but yeah, it can turn. It's a bit unstable. You know, if you play with this too much, it eventually just tumbles. Or well, at least it was. Now it's holding up. What's going on there? I guess not. <laughs> right. That's actually uh, better than I expected it to work. But uh, you might have just seen Mark III over here. This is sort of something I was playing with. This is where things get quite weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask me what made me try this, but it's like kind of compact. I've kind of adjusted it from that one there. So it's like one thinner, I think, or one thicker. Um, but the handlebars start like central, right? So there we go, dead center, like no adjustments need to be made. The front wheel is like set in place. Um, and I went and added this weird sort of thing. I, I don't know what I was going for with it. I think the idea was that you could keep it in like in a compact garage or something. I don't really know, but I kind of like it. I don't know. It's a bit weird, I know. Um, but yeah, this thing here, um, I'm not sure if I connected it up or not. It like, sort of runs, I guess. Um, how much like gas can we give this thing? Let's give it a shot. So you can't really expect it to move too much because, whoa, holy shit. Okay then. It doesn't go forward obviously because we're like dragging along the ground, but pulling it back. Damn, son. I don't know. <laughs> that could be something to work with. And oh my god, that got real laggy. Holy balls. All right. Um, don't know what caused that to happen. But yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. I'm going to like go and keep trying this out. I don't really know where we're going with this. Things are getting kind of weird and stuff really quickly. But I got a good feeling about this. All right, guys. So I've shown you Mark 1. I've shown you Mark 2. I showed you whatever that is. Are you ready? Are you ready? To see what I've been doing like all day, like literally for the last like three hours. Are you ready? If you're ready, slap that thumbs up. Make it rain, thumbs ups. Because this thing here is gonna be the greatest thing you have ever seen. Hold on to your trousers because they're gonna fall down any second. But a boom, but a boom. There it is. This is it. This is. The Mark IV. I don't think it's finished yet, but it's pretty freaking close. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? As you can see, some modifications have been made. It's all compact and stuff, so it fits in your driveway, which is really nice. Should we go and hit this switch? Boom. It goes and folds out quite nicely, if you ask me. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And you can also control that from the driver's seat as well, if you want to pack it up once you've driven into your driveway like so very nice and look you can jump straight out fantastic right well that is not all let's go and fold that back out because just in case that swag isn't swaggy enough for you i've gone and added the super swag feature of the low rider oh yeah baby so just by tapping three you go and like Activate the hydraulics and lower this thing right down. So that's pretty sweet. And, um, well, if that ain't swaggy enough, it also has tricycle modes. And these things here spread out to give us three separate tricycle wheels. Now, I was actually going for something completely different. But <laughs> I kind of, yeah, it didn't really work. It didn't really work. So, as you can see, I think something's still a bit broken with this. I'm not 100% sold. On tricycle mode it's not the best idea but it works it works sort of but not as good as bicycle mode so let's go and pack that garbage up let's get those back into one single wheel at the front because I'm gonna show you how this thing goes so basically we push forward we move forward we press left we should turn left if we don't roll it you gotta like take angles very carefully you hold right and you're gonna turn right as well. It took me a long time to work out like a good steering um, thing, but we got there eventually. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look how stable it is. Look how freaking stable it is. Is this not the most amazing thing you've ever seen? Look at it. Look at it. 
and look, we can slow down. It's fine as well. Now, I got a feeling we'll move a lot faster and a lot smoother if we go back into like speedster mode. So let's do exactly that. But check it out, right? Look at this. Look at this handling. Look at this handling. Let's go right. Let's go left. Okay. 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 Not the best example. Can Trustical Mode get us out of this? Can Trustical Mode get us out of this? Oh, it can. Oh, it can and it will. That is it. This thing is the ultimate bicycle. This ain't no tricycle mode. This is the get out of trouble mode. Let's go and drop this back down because, as you can tell, low rider mode is much better for steering. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Have you seen a bike in this game handle so well? I don't think you have. I don't think you have. Do you know why? Because it doesn't exist. This is the ultimate bike right here. You've witnessed a miracle. You've witnessed history right here. The first. This is like a Harley Davidson. All right. Everything else you've seen is like a cheap Japanese Kawasaki something. I don't know. This thing is the ultimate bike. So let me show you how I like hooked all of it up. Basically, <laughs> there is no basic. It's actually pretty complicated. So the first switch here activates all of this. And that is just connected to a controller. The controller is connected to, I think, four of these parts. Two of them for the handlebars and two of them uh, just to get these things here, like, propelled outwards. Uh, hold on, can I click that or not? Go on, let me around, let me around, let me around. And we've, like, dropping frames hard because there's so many creations going on right now. Um, so yeah, 225 degrees on two of those, 105 on the others, and things are looking sweet. This one here, right, I originally just connected to everything, um, because otherwise it all falls apart. So basically all the bearings that I placed and weren't doing anything, I connected to number two. And then I decided to use that as like the, the tricycle, I guess, lift yourself up feature, which kind of worked out really well, because if you like tip on your side, you can lift yourself right back up. The top one is uh, simply just the two at the back here. Uh, that's basically, that goes into the low rider, dragster mode, I guess you could call it. Um, we've also got two motors. Uh, reason I went with two motors was because it, well, for one, it's balanced. And uh, for two, uh, the first, the, the ones at the back are powered, I think, three notches. And the ones at the front are three notches as well, or four notches. But if you want to adjust that, you can. Like if you want to make the front wheels go like super fast. I guess you can do that. I haven't tested this out. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, yeah, I guess pretty standard. Oh, snap. They work for reversing. If you want to reverse hard, you set these ones here pretty high. Let's go and drop that back down there. Uh, on the other hand, if you go and crank this one up, you can probably assume what happens. Yeah. It uh, has a fair bit of torque in it, that's for sure. So, <laughs> alright then. Alright, yes, come on, get out of that. Look at this, it's always brah. So this is it, this is the final stage, the Mark V. Let's go and chop, why can't we get rid of that? Why can't we get rid of that? Get rid of that, there we go. So I've gone and thrown on these little kickstand things. Um, basically stop it from rolling away, stop it from moving, all the rest of it, I suppose. It holds it up without it like falling stupidly and stuff, so it doesn't crash down. Um, I've also gone and replaced the big like green exhaust pipes with uh, this yellow type of orangey stuff instead. I think it looks much better. It fits the color scheme of the actual bike now. Everything's yellow. There's no real stupid greenish colors apart from that. I really wish I could like change those two parts, but I don't think there's any pieces that really fit that description or that spot. Um, but this thing is amazing. Check it out. Hit number one. That comes out as usual and the kickstand just goes and lowers it into place, ready to drive. Of course, three, you go into low rider mode, swagalicious mode. And two is of course the crappy little tricycle mode that really has no point. So, yeah, this is it. This is the final bicycle. Really hope you enjoy it and like it, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, whack this video with a thumbs up. Make it rain. Them massive likes. And uh, I don't know, if this video gets enough likes and enough 
comments down below. Maybe I'll like upload the save file for this if you guys want to check it out for yourselves and build your own or adjust it as you please. So let me know what you guys think about that. I don't know if I haven't really done that yet or thought of that or but yeah if you guys are interested in that let me know. But most importantly guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys with another scrap mechanic video very very soon. Bye for now. Yes it sort of works Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs>